Hey guys, I just want to show you this crazy contraption I come up with. We got these spotlights right here. I took it's kind of cobbled up right now. Don't actually look uh, good, but this is just a test product. I took this ram ball mount here, mounted this spotlight to it, and got my switch put in here. Stupid bright, but uh, I want to see what it looks like at night. If this works good, I'll make a good mount for it and make it look clean and make it look right. Uh, right now, it's just kind of, I wanted it to be a ram mount. That way I could put it on here where I got my accessory ram ball. And then I can take this thing, position it wherever I want. If I want to shine it down at the ground, look at something. And uh, when I'm not uh, using it, I can actually have it down out of the way like this. Or I can take it off and put it up. But this way it'd be down out of the way. And uh, I can take it off, put it up in the bag in the back or whatever. Or uh, if I want to go out rattlesnake hunting. Go out uh, and want some extra light. That might be pretty cool. So we'll see what this is like tonight. I'll see if I can make a video tonight. But this thing is an extremely bright spotlight. And it comes with a handle on it with this button mounted in the handle and stuff, but I didn't want the handle. I wanted the ram ball to be the handle because I can actually do this. I can take this thing off if I want to use it for handheld because I have it plugged into the cigarette lighter here or the adapter plug right here. And then I can take this thing out and use it, see? And then I can, then when I'm uh, got on the bike, I can put it back on the ram mount like that. And be good to go. Throw it away till the next time I need to use it. So we'll see tonight when it gets dark how it looks at night time compared to the old headlight. Now this is pretty much a spot, it won't be a floodlight, but catch y'all in a little while. Okay guys. Here it goes. We're gonna try this thing out at night time. This spotlight. See what it does. Okay, here's shining down my driveway. Aim it up a little bit. Yeah, that's a pretty dang good spot. Pretty crazy. I mean, it lights thing up. Lights up over there across the road. Hopefully you can see it on the video. It's kind of shining up in the trees right there. I'm going to have to adjust it down a little bit. I'll be spotlighting coons. Coon hunting on the dual sport. Let's see what it does up through the, up my holler. Up there. Yeah, that's uh that's crazy bright man. That's a uh, hundred yards back here to that furthest back tree. So you could actually aim this thing like down the road if you're going down back roads. It's a crazy bright. You wouldn't want to leave it on when you're meeting a car or somebody head on. Too bright. Let's go see what it looks like on the road. Oh yeah. See here's with it on. And right there, there's with it off. Right there, now when I turn it on, look at that. Look down the roadway down there. See, you can't even see that sign. 
Yeah, that dude lights it up. <laughs> Some deer over there. See their eyeballs shining with the light on them. Well, that's pretty awesome. Now I just gotta finish it up, make it look good, so it ain't just zip tied on there. But I wanted to try it first and see how it was. So cool. There's my spotlight. I'll show you guys some more further when I get to working on it a little more. Thanks for watching. Woodsman Dual Sport Adventure and Survival. Shine up in the trees up here on the telephone pole. I want to work on the telephone pole. Check that out. Catch y'all in the next video.